to be named the general manager of the Portland Thorns. I think some of you probably saw in the press release that, you know, I, I played this game for so many years. I played uh, almost 18 years for my country, 15 years professionally. I'm making myself sound old, but I know what it's like to be a player. I know what it's like to live your dreams out and, and, and be a, become a professional athlete and, and international athlete. But most importantly, I know what it's like to play in Portland. Um, we won a championship in 2013, the, the inaugural year. And, um, you know, it's one of those things where I can say easily it was the best year of my life. And when this discussion started, it wasn't on my radar. But it became very quickly because I think it was uh, after the article had come out and I'd spent a weekend, you know, thinking, feeling, crying and all of those things. And I think it was a moment in time, as we all have realized that this is a moment in time in women's soccer to to be a part of that change. And so when this opportunity came about and started talking with the organization, the players, I realized it was an opportunity to to do something that would have been truly personal for me. And so, you know, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to open it up to questions, to talk about whatever you want to talk about. But most importantly, I'm excited to just let you know that, you know, I mean, I'm a little girl who had a big dream of playing a game. Uh, I play, I dreamt of going to the Olympics, going to a couple of World Cups. And now I get to give back to the game in a different way and be true and authentic and real. And with this club, it's, uh, it's truly special to me, you know, coming from CONCACAF where it was the global conversation and I loved everything I did there. But I think it was a time for me to really look at myself and be like, what can I do to help change this conversation? What can I do to um, help inspire that group of players? What can I do to help inspire the community of people who love our sport. And that's how I got here. So my goal is to help play a part in creating the most connected, purpose-driven women's soccer club. And I mean connected with the fans, with the community, the work we do in the community, on the field. I think if you look at the Portland Thorns right now, they just won the Shield. So it's a great team. But most importantly, within the organization again, and, and I hope that I can help play a role in that. Um, I hope you understand how personal this is for me. Some of you may or may not have known that, you know, a year and a half, I gave birth to my baby girl, Paris, and I almost died a week later. And I remember racing to the hospital and I thought that was it. And I remember she was holding my finger and I said, you know, God, if you give me one more chance, I promise to make it matter. So this is me promising to make it matter. I think this league is a time where we need leadership to come together and connect. I think the players want to feel seen and heard. And I think it's just a time for us to come together and provide hope, um, healing, and the, that opportunity to rise. The broken trust is a big one to have to fix. And I wonder how you go about trying to fix it. Um, I, I think everybody here has been in relationships in their life where you've lost trust in somebody. And whether it's a person or organization, to build that back is not overnight. Um, it takes time. It's listening. It's learning. It's conversations. It's being uncomfortable in conversations. But I think for me, I and Jonathan, hopefully you know this about me, and I think most people know this about me is that I try to do everything with integrity and I want to make sure people understand that for me it's 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 purpose driven and if building trust back is one of those things which I know it is it's not me coming in here and saying this is how it should be it's me coming in and saying where are we you know where are we and how do we move forward I don't have all those answers I think connect collectively we can come together, but I think it's showing up um, in my authentic self and listening, suggesting and moving forward. And I think building trust back is, is something that's hard, but it, it takes time. And I think, or I hope the person that I am today and my life has shown that I am committed to things bigger than myself. I think building the team is what excites me. Um, building a team with the right players 
And let's let's not forget, Portland right now is a great team. They've just won the Shield. They're heading into the playoffs. They'll get a bye this weekend and have a home game. So there's not something that I need to come in and do and reinvent that wheel because it's it's a fantastic team right now. So I get to be dis- part of the discussions of moving forward. But it's also, I think, what the organization of Portland is, is this is where I said I, I asked a lot of questions. There's a staff that runs very deep and they're well qualified and they've been doing this for a long time and they've been doing this the right way. Right. And I say the right way because you look at that roster, that's a great roster with great players. And I think it's just building on that. So I understand that I come in here not knowing everything. And that's one of the things in the process. I put my hand up. I'm like, this is what I'm not good at. This is what I need to learn. This is what I'm great at. This is where I can lead. But it's surrounding yourself with the right people. And when you talk about the coach, um, Portland has been well underwear in that process of hiring a coach. And I've come in and I get to review and look at, and we've had some great discussions already as an organization about who the next hire will be, because we know that needs to happen pretty quickly. Because unfortunately, the great Mark Parsons, who I've also had some great conversations with, um, will be departing. So will there be a hole left in that locker room? Absolutely, because Mark is incredible. Um, But they've also been planning ahead. So we'll have, that's one of the things, first things on my to-do list is to hire a new head coach. And I'm excited about that opportunity and finding the right fit for the club. And I was in Portland this weekend, walking into that locker room and speaking to the players. And, you know, those in the room will tell you what it was like. It was, it was beautiful, electrifying and real for all those reasons. The areas that I need help on. And that's why I was like, I don't know if this, I'm right for this was, you know, the aspect of building the team. But I'll tell you what Portland does have is an incredible team that have, has been doing this. And, and that's when I said, I, I asked a lot of questions going into this. I asked a lot of questions going into this that to make sure that I wasn't gonna come in and be somebody who helps connect, but then on the field, there's a big gap. And I think the team that we have there will lead us to success. You know, I've, I've, we've already been diving into it. I don't wanna tell Portland secrets, but there's a lot of depth in what's going on in depth charts with players. And there's, there's no Portland has been successful, not randomly. And I think everybody knows that. And it's a club that's well-organized in that capacity. Um, I've already been having calls with uh, different agents. I've already been having calls with, you know, different players. Um, And so this is not me going in being like, Oh, this is going to be a fun job. I'm very well aware that this is going to be a difficult job, but that's also what excites me. I think, I mean, players, we love, we don't want to be average, <laughs> you know, and I'm coming into a winning club and there's no chance I want to be average in this. So my flights, I took two red eyes back and forth. I didn't sleep a wink. I was looking at details and studying and learning. So for me, it's surrounding myself with people who are going to make sure that we don't drop off because of this move. But I think what I, what I do bring to the conversation is the ability to know the player's side of things, the ability to understand through all stakeholders' eyes where the view of the game is from the sponsorship to all the things. And I think that's why in the press release, you saw that I'll also be working on the other side with things um, here in Portland. But most importantly, I know how to win. <laughs> and I say that with a smile because I do know how to win. And uh, I think that's what's exciting about this. So will I be uncomfortable in some areas? Absolutely, but I'm not scared of that.